Alright, so hi guys, in this video right now I'm going to show you the update for my ADS-B and AIS receivers. As you can see right now, there is no more Versal Tracker equipment. I don't have the yellow RX Carbon AS receiver anymore, including the Raspi tree and also including the antenna that came with it. And it's now been changed with this one neat little Raspberry Pi box or case or model. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a marine traffic receiver. This is the D400 Pi. They send it, this one, they send it to me. Uh, and which is really, really good and really, and really, really great. And I thought that they're, that they're going to send me an SLR 350NI, which they always uh, sending for other feeders. But I, I received the D400 Pi, which is really rare, but its rarity is really really great and it's really really cool and um uh, because you know i uh, i re-requested an a, another AS receiver from them and uh which is which is they are really accommodating and they sent me another AS receiver which is this one which is once again it's pretty uh great and so um of course, they I, I understood my uh, my problems in, in the past of you know the the customs things which I've talked to you on the on the old update video, which I'm not going to talk about because it's really really long. <laughs> By the way, I don't use I didn't use my Canon camcorder right now and also my microphone since I'm testing this recording via 4K and from my iPhone. And I hope it really turns out to be pretty good. I'm not going to edit this though. It's uh, pretty, uh, pretty long, and my PC, my laptop doesn't handle 4K video editing that much. So anyway, without much ado, I'm going to introduce the D400 Pi with the FlyWare Pro 6 Plus. I've already, uh, I already put put my Pi Zero on my drawer for now, and I'm using this Pi Tree Model B Plus. That's the model for uh, for ADSB and AIS signals as you can see inside a marine inside the marine traffic D400 Pi is this one is the case right here this is a DC hat which is which is which is a really popular low-cost AIS receiver performance is really good but not as good as the SLR 350NI but I'm not complaining about it and as you can see right now we have this one is case this one is modified case and they, I think they drilled, the, they drilled the hole. They drilled the hole to accommodate the connector, the SMA connector for the DC hat, which is this one. It's an RG213 cable, I think. But correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. And this one is the connection, the white connection, which goes through this power adapter right here. This is always running 24 hours a day. I'm, I normally didn't, I normally don't turn this off since this one is providing signals to flight and mar marine networks 24 hours a day seven days a week so which is pretty good as you can see we have blinking lights here indicating we have a signals from class uh from channel a and channel b 161975 and 162025 that's for marine aas frequencies and also i've also plugged in my flight aware adsb pro stick plus accommodating 1090 megahertz on this usb socket right here i still have the original marine traffic uh, image, but I installed a custom image on my other SD card using RPI AAS and, and also I installed the ADSB receiver from Jay Prochaska which you can find on a GitHub link that I'm going to link below and Yeah, so that's about it for this one. We're going to go and check the antennas you can see we have this long wire that is currently hidden Hidden right now if I'm going to make part I'm just going to show the antenna As you can see here's the antenna here and um the antenna is really it's high up in the air as you can see that's the white antenna is the AS antenna that model is a AIS GPAX and my other uh, thin wire antenna is I'm not going to go outside and show you because I've already shown that in the old video which is still the small antenna the 1090 megahertz antenna uh, which is pretty good and pretty have, have good performance actually so yep here is what it came for the um for the marine traffic AS receiver. By the way, here is the tube that is on my antenna. I'm not going to throw it out. 
that's a tube which came from, which it, this includes the antenna. Yeah. So here is it. This is what came straight to the mail when it comes when it arrived. So here is the Pi Tree model B plus starter pack and also the Raspberry Pi power supply. This one I'm not going to open it, but this includes the power adapter. Uh, I mean the LAN patch cable and also the uh, the Raspberry Pi model B plus instead. And this one, of course, uh, obviously came with the power supply adapter, which I'm currently using right now. And I interchange it with the with some with the America adapter since th that's the one we're using here in the Philippines. So which is uh, pretty good and pretty reliable right now. And yeah. So yeah. All right. So that's about it, guys, for the uh, for the video. And I'm going to show you right now. Uh, next is uh, what's the performance look like. And I'm going to show you the dashboard right now. All right. So here is the uh, preview of the dashboard. That uh, that's uh, which is I'm currently using right now to manage my ADSB and AIS signals. As you can see, this is the ADSB receiver from J Petroska, and also I've used the uh, the AS dispatcher uh, image from AS Hub, and that's what I've used to uh, to image the SD card and uh, and configure the. AS, uh, AS uh, things inside the control panel and after that I also and uh, after that I installed the ADSB receiver which is it coincides perfectly fine and it's really really great it's running smoothly here's some here's some system information as you can see I'm providing right now as you can see here's some system charts I'm providing right now uh, this one is the uh, system information. Yes, this is, the, this is running PyTree model B plus, and it's pretty good. CPU temp is great, sixty degrees Celsius. And I I am feeding on this nine sites, which is pretty great. And I really really love feeding to some sites. Almost, I mean not not almost all of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's for the ADSB receiver, and I've already seen you this one. But I'm currently receiving right now 16 aircrafts, which is pretty great for a small antenna. Next one is the AS dispatcher. As you can see, I'm currently receiving 11,000 messages, which is pretty, uh, uh, pretty, pretty great. So, and I've configured everything else here, including the IP address. And here is the map. I'm currently receiving 23 ships. 23 ships into my area which is pretty great considering with that antenna and I need uh, so, uh, in the future I think I need to add the, uh, some amplifier and filter on that but for now I, I'm going to leave as it is and it's really perfectly great and perfectly and perfectly uh, it's really good perfectly fine and yep here. and yeah here is the input using the AIS hub our DC hat it's currently using serial ports and also this is I'm currently feeding to this uh, Mary networks I'm and also actually I'm going to scroll down here if I can yep I, I'm also feeding to vessel finder which is pretty great and it's really really nice so that's my ports and okay so yep and that's about it so that's about it from my dashboard and yeah, uh, uh, th that's an update for my ADSB and AS signals uh, receiver. So yeah, comment down below if you have questions and if you have some opinions or comments, like the video or just like it. And also, please subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.